This video is sponsored by Bisvi Gogo. In this project, I demonstrate how to set up smart home automation with Alexa using the ESP8266 and Amazon Echo Dot. I will be using this custom made PCV for this project. We can control four different home appliances using the voice commands. Here is the demo. Alexa, turn on relay one. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay two. Alexa, turn on relay three. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay four. Alexa, turn off relay two. Okay. Apart from controlling the devices using voice commands, we can use these manual switches or push buttons for this project. When push button is pressed, a relay will toggle from previous state. So let's get started and find out how I built and assembled this PCV and also how I did the Alexa settings. <laughs> Let us first build the hardware for this project. First, I draw the schematic using the Altium Designer software. My plan was to make a compact portable PCV for this project. So I chose SMD resistors, capacitors and LED. I chose 220 VAC to 5V DC converter from Hilink. For providing power to ESP8266 raw chip, I chose the HD7333 voltage regulator IC. The four channels relay is separated from the high power line using PC817 optocoupler IC. All the design requirements have been fulfilled in this design. I then designed the PCV using the same Altium Designer software. The PCV is compact and looks awesome. This is the 3D view of the PCV. This view basically tells how the PCV will look like. Then I generated Garbo file. It is time to order the PCV. So I visited PCV Gogo, which is the official sponsor of this video as well. You can get your trial PCV for only $1 here. I uploaded the Garbo file and filled in the details like material types, dimensions, quantity, thickness, solder mask color, and all other required parameters. And then I clicked on a quote now. Here you see the price has gone to $0. You just need to pay shipping charges. Now add to the cart and place order. Now after 5 days, I received this PCB. Look at this PCB quality. It is very premium and has a perfect design for my project. If you want to order trial PCV for free, check the first link in the description. Now it is time to solder all the components on this PCB board. First, I collected all the components for this project. You can see this bill of materials that has the list of all the components for this project. I placed all the assembly components on this PCB first. Then using the soldering hot air, I assembled all the components. Then I soldered all the through hole components. Now you can see my PCB is ready. This is the ESP8266 chip. Power is supplied from here. The AC power is converted to 5 volt DC by this high link module. The voltage from high link is fed to this 3.3 volt regulator IC. 
This 3.3 volt IC supplied power to ESP chip and all other components. These are four optocoupler IC, which is to separate high voltage from the relay to the board. These four relays are used to control four industrial appliances. You can connect the AC appliances to the output terminal. These push buttons are used for manual control. This four heater can be used to solder four switches in place of four push buttons. At the back, you can see some diodes, transistors, and registers soldered. To program this ESP8266 chip, we can use these program pins. You can directly connect an FTDI module here and upload the code. Let us take a look at the coding part of this project. In this project, we will be using the Aspalexia library to integrate the ESP8266 home automation board with Alexa EcoDot. This library is Arduino friendly and can help ESP8266 communicate with Alexa and EcoDot devices. Here, we have defined the relay GPIO pins and also the manual switch pins. From these lines, change the Wi-Fi SSID and password. In these lines, you can set the name of your device such as light bulb, TV, washing machine or whatever you want. Moving down, we can see the functionality to turn on off the relay based on voice commands or based on to manual switch. This code can also change the light brightness from 0 to 100%. You may go through the code for better understanding as I have commented on most of the lines and commands. So it is time to upload the code. For that, first connect the ESP8266 with the FTDI module using the jumper wires. Then connect the FTDI module to the computer using the data cable. From the tools menu, select generic ESP8266 board and then a COM port. Now you can upload the code. Once uploading is done, remove the FTDI connections and let's connect an AC lines here. Let's set up the Alexa app now. First, download the Amazon Alexa from your App Store or Play Store. At bottom, choose device. Tap on plus sign here. Choose add device. Then select light. Scroll down to bottom and select other. Then choose Wi-Fi connection. Tap on discover devices. Alexa will search for the new devices. It might take a minute while searching. In case if short files keep trying again. Now you can see here four devices has been found. Perfect job. Now they are successfully listed on Alexa app. Now it is time for the action. Let's test it with the voice commands. Alexa, turn on relay one. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay two. Alexa, turn on relay three. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay 4. Alexa, turn off relay 2. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay 1. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay 4. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay 2. Perfect, it works very well. Let's press the manual switches now. It works well again as you can see the status of push button is toggled. I just used LED indicator for this project. You can connect your AC appliances at the output of the relay. That's all from the video part today. The complete project details including the bill of materials, schematic, PCB file, Gerber file, source code and 
all other details have been uploaded on the how to electronics website article you may read the alexa setup part as well in case you have any doubt comment down in the comment section below thank you for watching see you in the next video